Hey there, Jerry Shepard, the bug doctor with PestCemetery.com. I wanted to take a minute today and show you some of the ins and outs and disadvantages and advantages of treating a pocket door. Pocket doors are pretty popular in a lot of homes, space saver and do a, uh, a lot of good. But bugs can hide back in the void of the pocket door and we want to know how do I inject pesticide in there so that it effectively takes care of the pest without making too much of a mess. I've got a perfect example today, the lighting is not perfect, of the anatomy of a pocket door. Here's the bones, if you will, of a pocket door and you can see the door slides in and out and uh, you can see the other side of the drywall and you can see where up in the corner some roaches have been in the past. But one thing you might not know that when this is this wall is finished and covered, you see these different ledges. Those are for support, I guess, uh, little guides for the door so that they can the door can slide in and out. Well, <clears throat> that's also a place where your pesticide, your insecticide, can get up onto and just sit, um, which is okay. But it'll also block it from coming down effectively and filling this whole void. So that's something to keep in mind. Popular choices for treating pocket doors, and again, I apologize for the lighting. We've got uh, our aerosols. One is like a um, kill them quick kind of thing and it comes out in a jet stream and doesn't really uh, do much except treat wherever you shoot it. The other I call like a mini fog or CB80, CB40 comes out in a nice uh, mist or fog and that might be something we'll uh, use. I also use Nivan bait and a puff duster which does really well and dust itself and then of course a popular um, way is the BNG. Let's take a look at the BNG first. So what you want to do is shut your pocket door obviously and put the BNG towards the end, towards the edge and then shoot. Now supposedly you're going to be getting any kind of spiders or roaches or anything that lives back there. And you would do both sides of the door. So let's see how we did. Well, I uh, hope this shows up. You can see my spray. Now it wasn't real. I didn't do it a lot. But see how it just kind of dripped down? And now that's pretty much just going to soak into the drywall. All I did was wet small sections of it. And I couldn't get enough of it to get in the back. So I'm treating very, very little of this pocket door using a BNG. Let's try our HPX. And we're shooting it back there. Now that we know that we've got those little ledges to work around. And down here the door gets real tight. I'm not even sure how far it's going back. Now this is for an example, a teaching tool, so if I don't have the technique quite like what you want, go ahead and write me, but just trying to illustrate. So we pulled the door out, now we see that not much change, there's not a lot there, but look at how far I squirted back. I got that back in here, but I really have nothing left in here uh, let's see, well, down here, I got a little spray right in there, a little HPX, I can smell it, and there it is, it shot all the way to the back, not great coverage, if I really wanted to get this area with uniform coverage, it looks like I'd have to use quite a bit, there I got quite a bit, now you have to remember too, there would be a wall on this side, so, um, times whatever you see, times two, because it would be on both sides. Let's try some Nyban. I'm going to be limited here basically to the top because down here it gets too tight and most of it, if not all of it, 
is going to shoot back. So let's see how my nigh band did. Nigh band's great. Oh, the spider doesn't eat nigh band. I don't know if we can even see. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit on the ledge. So we've got some roaches back here. They've got some right down here. Uh, right along the ledge. Not a lot. But it'll land on the ledges, so you want to make sure to do uh, each void. And you might not know where they are, so you're going to have to do several spots. Let's try dust. For years... For years, dust was my answer for a pocket door. I would open it all the way and pop right in. But I try to get as close to the edge as possible because otherwise I'm going to leave. See that white mark? And we don't want that. Just that, see that, that would be unacceptable right there. So we don't want that. But let's see how good we did with our coverage. difficult to see. There we go. See that dust, the powder in there? Really not uniform. You can see it spread out, starts short or uh, narrow, and then spreads out. And then it looks like it covers that pretty well. But you're going to have to do in between each one of these uh, spacers or guides to get uniform coverage. The other way that I hadn't considered until just now One other way I hadn't considered until just now is uh, the old bait gun. Now, if you can get it back in there um, and get some to get on to the door, that's great. But when you're down in here, you're only really going to put it right there at the crack. And maybe when they open and close, it's going to smear and end up way over here leaving a smear mark. So bait is another thing and that would be great if you can do it because when the door is open all the way back that bait would be sitting say all the way back in here and you'd just be waiting for a roach to come out and then when the door is closed that bait kind of disappears. Nobody sees it. It's not on the other side. So if you can sink some bait gel bait back there that might also be something to consider well anyway pocket doors do offer a little bit of a challenge and you want to be careful with what you use because you don't want to make a mess and you don't want to contaminate anything that the people are going to touch so in recap always open the door use what you're going to use for the reasons you're going to use it and try and sink it back as far as you can as uniformly as possible remembering that there are a few obstacles in your way and your ultimate goal is uh, good coverage all the way to the back where anything that's going to live is probably going to be most often. Hey this has been Jerry Shepard with The Bug Doctor at Cemetery.com. Thanks so much for enjoying my blog. See ya!